do howligans hello hello thank you for your patience as i got everything set up today i'm very excited to resume fallout 3 and we're just gonna dive right in hello hello i'm i'm honestly so glad to hear that people look forward to these streams it's very very sweet i too genuinely like it's been a lot of fun to check this game out um Oh, right, I have this freaking quest to, to murder a bunch of people, and I don't know how to feel about it. Part of me is consider do considering doing it just because I want to see as much of this game as possible, but part of me still feels bad. So <laughs> I'm going to table this one for now, uh, and we're going to go try and find dear old dad, who is at Project Purity's control room, allegedly. I have a feeling he's not going to be here. Um, oh, I have to be careful because if I remember correctly, there were a bunch of super mutants. How is my armor holding up? Actually, pretty okay. Okay. You don't have to murder those people. True. Alistair Tenpenny was a big whoopsie doodle on my part. I, I did not mean for that to happen. But, you know, in chat's defense, y'all warned me and I just did not understand. <laughs> Hello. Ugh. Oh, you have a friend? That's not fair. I don't have those. Steady <laughs> your hand, Dogford. <laughs> Dang it. Well, I'm glad I remembered that they'd be here. <laughs> Sometimes we just gotta roll with our choices. I mean, I still feel awful, but... And again, like, everyone's like, hey, you should really find Argyle first. And I was like, oh, it'll be fine. I'll have everyone move into Tenpenny's place, and then I'll find Argyle. And I, I didn't understand what people meant when they're like, no, you should, like, really maybe do that in a different order. <laughs> Y'all trying to warn me. How do I get into the... Do I get into it from the gift shop? Okay. With Tenpenny dead, who's in charge of the tower? I'm afraid to find out. I haven't been back there yet, and I'm, like, not super looking forward to it. Yeah, I know. My face hurts, too. That's what happens when you get shot at, buddy. Not a good time. The main entrance is the gift shop. That feels... I guess maybe the main main entrance is, like, out of commission or something. Hold on. My mouse feels today. I don't know. I don't know why. It feels like my mouse sensitivity is different, and I'm, like, pretty sure I didn't change it. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's not good. You shot the robot. Okay, well, do I have to pick a fight with you in there? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, well. Oh, wait. Roll system? I don't know if this is going to help me because they broke the turrets already. <laughs> Dang it. yoo -hoo. Oh, you're ginormous. 
No more games. Oh, I should have reloaded. Oh, that was dumb on my part. I'm gonna eat your You're gonna eat my arms? Why my arms specifically? Like... I don't... I have little noodle arms. I don't think they're gonna be terribly tasty, my man. Uh... -huh. Ooh. Nice. I didn't realize those were ammunition rounds at first. I thought they were just, like, Altoid containers. <laughs> uh, anything... F oh, there's a plunger in a safe? Why? You don't want to have that in safekeeping. You want that right next to your toilet, my man. Oh, you have a friend. Oh, great. Oh, lovely. Why not your legs or kidney? Yeah, like, arms feel kind of gamey and wiry. I don't know. I, I can't really speak to that, I guess. But I don't really understand the logic, I suppose. Who's shouting? What do you want? Rar, rar, rar. Rar, rar, rar. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, you just do your thing over in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Jeez. I'm just face tanking so much ammunition. I know you were crouching and aiming up, but those hits were directed at the nether regions. Well, maybe if he had long as all the nether regions, he should attack me. Just saying. I'm not just going willy nilly shooting everyone I see. Only if they're a little red dot who's trying to hurt me. Yeah, it's this way. Okay, well, I should patch myself up. It is truly a miracle I'm still standing. I just keep eating bullets. Like, how is my character not- Oh, frick. Not you, I hate you. Ugh. I don't even want to look out of here. Ugh. Rotunda? I see feet. Okay. Gift shop and basement. Don't need to fight everyone. Search dad's holotapes for clues to his location. Dad! Alright, I have to find all of the entries. What is in there? What is in there? I'm so creeped out right now. I gotta do. <gasps> Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to investigate Eric, science. Stop. Ugh. Ugh. My heart can't take this anymore. Yes, you're wounded. Go die, please. Thank you. Where's your friend? Hello. Ugh. He's die already. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Oh, God. Lore wise, aren't centaurs what happen when you mix cats, dogs, and various animals and humans? It's it's truly like deeply upsetting to look at and deeply upsetting to think about, and I don't like them. They're icky and they freak me out. Alright, so I need to find a total of ten hollow tapes. That feels Mighty not possible. I'm really creeped out by whatever the hell is in there. Ugh. Okay, um. Alright, I'll listen to journal entry number 10. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of bronze. Oh, okay. might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills. And it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Okie dokie. Well... Jeffers? Are there... Is that just a statue? What is... Am I gonna find out what's in there? I don't really want to. Alright, let's go home. And by home, I mean, get out of here. Um, This way, and then it's this way. It's a statue. But why is there a statue in a water tank? That don't make no sense. Okay, Um, I'm gonna listen to those other guys, but first... Where is... Oh, jeez. Oh, beans, that's far. 
All right, we'll start at Robco's facility and we'll listen to these other tapes as we uh, walk over. Um, let's pull up tape number five. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault facility after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Bob. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislav Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex's social preservation program and his work on something called Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. So what's the guy's name? Stanislav Braun? It feels like someone took Brom Stoker and like Vladislav Strauss and like combined their names. It feels like someone tried to make a vampire character. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, all right, that's interesting. What does the other one have to, to say? Honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. Hmm. No slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. He's based on this German scientist trope. Yeah, I figured. Um, so here's what I think is interesting. Why, the, the vault program ended up just being a load of bunk science. Why would a scientist who pioneered Gek choose to go into a vault? Right? Aren't all the vaults, like, super not good, like... It's all some flavor of, you're gonna die, like... I'm having trouble understanding why this guy would want to go into a vault if he knew what vault was- Maybe he didn't know what vault was doing. I guess we'll have to find- Oh god, I'm like, afraid. If this is another, like, overrun plant vault, like in New Vegas, I'm gonna tear my hair out. That vault was so scary. What the heck's out there? Uh... God dang it. Arr! Go away. Leave me alone. This looks like the place. Yeah, he said a garage, right? How do you... Wait, they built a vault inside a business? I don't think I've seen that before. Well, they do have the casino vault. Oh, God. We're going to scare the pants off me, man. They did have that casino vault. Um, But that was, like, in a city. Um, Oh, hey, friend. I'm glad that you guys aren't trying to eat me. If I were an, a vault door, how do I get inside? Oh. Dang. 
Oh, is there a skill book in the safe? You know, see, I was looking at the safe because I was wondering, like, it looked like that stuff was fancy. Thank you. You're right. I was like, huh, that's an interesting piece of, like, decorative paper. Um, where are you? Tumblers today. Ooh, lockpick. Nice. Thank you for catching that. Um... Dang, so they just built a vault in here? Interesting. Wait, there's no fancy door? What? This vault is weird. There's no, like, big old Like, Vault 101 had that, like... There it is. I was gonna say, this is what I was waiting for. Hello? Please don't be mad at me if anyone's alive in here. Best Vault was in Fallout 2, which became a massive success and even used their Gek to form a city. That's cool. You really like your vault doors. I mean, I guess I just kind of expected the whole experience. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, this vault is like pristine. I feel like a lot of times I go into vaults and they're all like icky and gross. Anyone home? Oh. Welcome to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. By what? What? Please. I don't... Oh, I don't like the sound of that at all. Um... Take a seat in the nearest available Tranquility Lounger. Thank you. If I walk away, will you get mad at me? Hold on, because I want to... Oh, I think this room is just like the control room, right? Is there anything in here now? Okay. Um... I don't want to... I don't know what... A Tranquility Lounger sounds like they're gonna... Uh, schmurder me, and I don't like the sound of that. Also, I have a question that is probably naive. Whose brain is in the robo brain? How do they get? How do they source brains for those? Take a seat in the nearest I don't think I want to know the answer to that question, but I'm a little worried about that. Wait, this place is like up. Like, whoa! What the frick? This place is too clean. There's only a robo brain. I don't like it. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies, y'all. I, mm, I don't like this. It's explained in Fallout 4. I don't want to be in there. Is there nothing else in this vault? Oh, wait a second. That fancy gek guy wanted to come here specifically, right? Is this a vault that was designed for, like, the rich and powerful to go into, like, stasis? Is that what's happening here? Because this vault is kind of different so far. They don't have, like, the similar layout as the others. Hold on, let me see if I can find stuff, because this place is funky. We have a little office. Some lockers. Uh... Ooh, med kit. Thank you. A lot of doctor rooms, but like no actual there's no like cafeteria. Is there an overseer's office? Good time zones, Wiggles. How are you? How well? Get mad at me for snooping? Oh, here we go. Overseer's office. Inter I feel like I'll get some good info from here. Ah, dang it. Ah, Beans! Ugh. Oh, gotta find a fancy key somewheres. 
All right, all right. I'll go into the creepy stasis chamber. I'm not gonna like it, though. Can I see people in here? I can't tell. Unoccupied. Whoa, M. Simpson. Hold on. Play resident status. Wait, what the hell? Rest level elevated. Henderson. And all. Are all of these people still alive after 200 years? Inconsistent readings, please check pod connections. Wait. Anomaly detected. Resident requires medical attention. That's not good. Um, Rockwell, doing okay. Why are you stressed? Oh, how's my day so far? That's so sweet of you to ask. I don't know. If, I don't remember if I said yet. Uh, my day's been pretty good. I feel real bad because I just like have not been sleeping well. So I keep like sleeping in later than I intend. But I'm also not falling asleep till like 2 a.m. Uh, so I, like, didn't get as much done as I would have liked, although I did work on a really fun commission today. Um, it's just, like, a design that's, like, been a lot of fun to draw, so that was fun. Um, that's really been it. I'm, I'm currently snacking on some, uh, edamame. Uh, I wish I could say I've done more, but it, it was a, a late start. <laughs> New spawn? Uh, that was who I read. Foster. I'm trying to see if any of them have, like, other information, but that's all of them. Look in the pod. Can I? Yeah, this one. Oh, is that a skeleton? Hold on. No, that's a person. There's people in these. They all have shaved heads. How do they not grow hair? How do you fully put a body in stasis? I have so many questions. Uh, was that my dad? They all look the same. They're all bald. One didn't have a shaved head? Wait. What's my dad's name? James J. 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 Rockwell? Is my surname Rockwell? That don't look like my dad. Hold on. Which one of you is... Which one of you don't got... Uh... A shaved head because they all oh shoot possible program corruption unable to verify resident ID I don't want to go in here now um my dad I can't open it if I go in a pod, am I coming out of it? Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, be brave. That's like the one thing I'm not. <laughs> All right, I saved. You know, let's do a hard save. Oh, man. I didn't actually think he would be here. I thought the game was going to take forever for me to meet him. Okay. I'm gonna talk to the robo brain. Hello. Oh, what the hell? Whose face was that? <laughs> Skyrim loads up. What the hell? Am I in like a simulation? This is the um neighborhood from New Vegas's uh, DLC in Big Mountain. Hey there, sport. 
Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Okay, hold on. This is so interesting. So everyone in here has been, like, put into the simulation? Well, hi there. Hello. Uh, okay, what can you tell me about the neighborhood? You mean besides how wonderful it is to live here? Everyone's very friendly. Even old lady dithers, though she's lost most of her marbles. This is what, some kind of computer simulation? Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose in those darned comic books, sport. Nice day, isn't it? Of course it is. It's America, isn't it? Um, have you seen my dad? Nope, afraid not. Don't you worry about it, though. You'll find him. Turn the radio. Here's the thing. If I turn on the have radio, day. I run the risk of a DMCA hit, and then I have to mute the entire VOD. I know it, like, hurts the experience of the game, but I'd rather be able to maintain my VOD audio. <laughs> Hold on. Who are Hello. you? Hi there. I'm Timmy. Wanna play? This is interesting. This kid isn't in a pod, is he? I don't remember a teen news bomb. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? It's okay, I guess. I don't really have nobody to play with, except for Betty. And she's kind of, well, she's mean. None of this is real. It's all some crazy experiment. What? You're weird. Have you seen my dad? Your dad? Nope, I haven't. Did he get lost? Oh, he is in a pod? Oh, that's sad. Can I go in your house? Wait, can I? Why am I a child? Ew. Whoa, what the hell? Who are you? Good day to you. Nice day, isn't it? It sure is, but it always is here. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Well, George and I have been here. Why, as long as I can remember. Okay. Hmm. Will you be mad if I go in your house? Your house is so barren. Oh, they don't have dressers because they don't have clothes to change. They probably just live the same day over and over again. There's no television, there's no radio, there's no, like, entertainment. Military school brochure. This brochure promotes the Hoffman Training Academy with the tagline turning the delinquents of today into the leaders of tomorrow. Yeah, and there's no food because they probably don't eat. So it has, like... It has all the fixtures of a home... But, like, not really. I know it wants me to talk to Betty, but I want to investigate this whole place. Hiya. This is so creepy. Whoa! Gnome. Oh, uh, goodbye, Janet. Is there anything? Uh, now that... That's so sus. Oh, now that I found that brochure, I do want to see if there's things to find in the houses. What's in your basement? Oh, God. Oh, this is creepy, Roger. Good day to you. Do you murder people in this basement? Because I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> what can you tell me about the neighborhood? Heck of a place to live. Janet and I, well, we're quite happy here. Nice day, isn't it? You won't find a day like this anywhere else. Have a great day. I wonder if the day even ends for them. Nothing interesting to place on the desk at this time. What do you mean at this time? Am I gonna have to put something on it later? Why are you just in your basement? I'm gonna die. That man's gonna string me up by my ankles. I hate this place. Oh, I'm so skeeved out. Think positive? When has a vault ever had anything positive? Never. I There's nothing positive to think here. Hello, sweetie. How are you? 
Um, what can you tell me? I like it well enough, I suppose. Mabel is good company most of the time. And, well, the other neighbors are mostly very nice. I suppose. Who's Mabel? Bye -bye. If Mabel isn't, I feel like Mabel's gonna be like a something messed up. Be, oh, oh no, are you just lesbians? Hello, sweetie, how are you? Well, there's certainly never a dull moment. I think it's like any other street, really. Always something to see and always something to talk about. Thanks for hanging, soul. Mm. Understand. Um. Say, Martha, what's going on? Ooh, lazy underwear. Oh, that's creepy. I just have a watch. Can I sleep? Interesting. Um. I hope it's not weird that I just stole ladies' undies, but Good it day. should be fine. Uh, did I look in here? Ooh, all oh, this painting is... I don't remember if the paintings normally look like that in this game. Perf. Listen, I'm curious to see if it'll be in my inventory or not. Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? Nice place. Real nice. Everyone's friendly and always happy to lend a hand. Hmm. I'm gonna look in all the houses and then I'm gonna talk to Betty, which may be redundant, but... Oh! The Henderson Estate is in tip-top shape, young miss. Have a wonderful day. When he says young miss, does he... Am I the young miss? Am I a Henderson? Oh! Oh, I can't use the computer terminal? Dang it. Ugh. Why do only they get a Mr. Handy? Man, I'll give them credit. I am unsettled. Like, this is, would I live here? Why, no, are you kidding? I don't really have much interest in suburban life. All right. Who's the dog? Why is the dog named Doc? Good doggy? All right, let's talk to Hi. Betty. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. And you are? I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? No. No, I don't. You're gonna uh, cut all my hair and burn it or something. Okay, I, I guess. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. Girl, what is wrong with you? What kind of game is this? It'll be funny. Come on, you'll see. Make him cry and then come back here and we'll talk some more. You're a little demon child. I don't want to make a child. No wonder he said she's mean. I... She's not hard. She's not... I think she's like a bug in this simulation, right? Because the whole simulation's vibe is that everyone's peaceful and happy at all times. And yet this one... Some people had elevated stress levels before I went in here. I forget if Hello. Timmy was one of them. What's going on? Uh, sure Timold, where are you? Later. Uh, Tam, Tim, Timon, where are you? Small child. Where is he? It's inside. What are you talking about? Everything's fine. You always okay. have a choice. Yeah, I don't want to actually make him cry. I'm just going to talk to him and be like, she wanted me to make you cry. There you are. Want to play? That's so mean! Why would you say this to someone? What is... What is... That's horrible! 
Oh my god. YouTuber bully small child online, not clickbait. <laughs> Hold on. Betty says I should make you cry. What? No, she didn't. Did she? I don't like her. She's creepy. And she laughs at stuff that isn't funny. Agreed. Do I have to make this poor kid cry? Oh, God. I feel awful. This sucks. I don't know if there's a way to progress the plot otherwise. <laughs> I love how half of chat is like, yes, bully the child, make him weep. <laughs> there's multiple choices. I'm going to go talk to Betty again because I, I don't want to do this to him. That just doesn't feel right. I still need to figure out where Hello? my dad is. Um, it would be really interesting if my dad was the dog, uh, <laughs> hiding in plain Daddy, sight. You're supposed to be making Timmy cry. You can do it. I know you can. When you win the game, maybe we can talk some more. Tell me more about this place. Maybe later. First, I want to see how you get along with Timmy. Who are you? Don't you worry about that. You just go have fun with Timmy. Where's my father? Oh, don't worry about that now. There are things to do. What am I supposed to be doing again? You need to go find Timmy Newsbum and make him cry. It'll be funny. You'll see. Tell. Don't want to make this kid cry. Um. Does Betty have a last name? Because everyone else here has a last name. Except for her. That is weird. Um. Can anyone tell me about Betty, maybe? Good day to you. What can you tell me about Timmy? Timmy? Oh, he's a good boy. George and I are so proud of him. I don't care what Mabel says. I don't think military school would do him any good at all. I have half a mind to give her that brochure back and tell her just what she can do with it. Uh. Bye-bye. Let's go talk to Mabel. Why does Mabel hate a kid? Why is this grown woman beefing with a child? I forget what Mabel's last name is. I think it started with an S. Good day. No, oh, Martha. Mabel Sanderson? Let's see. Can I find her? Give in to the dark side. Why are you all so hellbent on me just ripping a child's heart out? I really, I'm only, I want to try and avoid it because it feels awful. This poor kid has been trapped in this simulation for, what, 200 years? Like... Yeah, Sanderson or Simmons or something. Here, let me make this. Oh, I can't. I don't have a pit boy. I can't just look at the friggin' d d d d names of all the houses. Oh, I heard Dithers was crazy. Hold on. You, you don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. Daddy, hello. Okay, finally, someone who knows what's going on. Wait. So if oh no okay I'm afraid to acknowledge the simulation with her because what if she's a failsafe in the simulation? Oh, we're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up, make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. Who are you talk? Is he Timmy? He calls himself Betty now, but he's oh. still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Oh. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. How come you're the only one who seems to know this? Don't know. Can't sleep sometimes. Hear voices. My own skin doesn't feel right. None of this is right. You've got to believe me. You've got to find that failsafe. 
What failsafe? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. I'm very glad I came in here looking for someone else. So, Braun is pretending to be a child and is bullying another child? What if Timmy isn't actually Timmy and is my dad? I'm like, I, there's so many weird things happening that I like can't... Who's real even? Also, which house is abandoned? It's a cul-de-sac. Hello. Hello. Oh, found it. <laughs> oh, I don't have a, I don't have a freaking flashlight. Oh, I freaking hate this place. Oh, it's so, <gasps> no, it's all dark and scary. Oh no, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to go down the hallway. <laughs> it's all dark and I don't have my flashlight. Okay, fine, I'll find, I'll find the fail safe. I don't like it in here. Everything's dark and dirty. I'm gonna have to go into a creepy basement. I just know it. Oh. Oh. I promise the thing is hostile in here. That doesn't make it less creepy. Where is the fail safe? Why are there two refrigerators? Hold on. I'm not brave. I'm a coward and I'm scared. Where? Interesting. Where is the creepy? Where's the? It's so dark, I can't tell where anything is. Hold on. You have to make the tune of the theme song. Oh, that's why I need to know what it sounds like. Okay, well, I can't open my radio. So... All right, give me a second. All right, I'm going to just do this by process of elimination. Uh, one, two, three, four. Gnome again? No. Right, the cinder block was next, and then... Okay. How long is this song? What the hell? Failsafe terminal initialized. <gasps> the frick? Oh my god. 
<gasps> Auxiliary Command Terminal, please consult a supervisor before proceeding. Access Chinese Invasion Program, access version control. Dr. Braun entry, Toucan Lagoon? I finally come to the realization that the Toucan Lagoon simulation has run its course. I'm tired of the beating sun and ceaseless pounding of the lagoon's waves upon the shore. I no longer take pleasure in watching Simpson weather away from scurvy or hearing Noosebomb's screams as he's devoured by the Mako shark. I am quite simply bored. It is time to reset the simulation once again. My man, you are a psychopath. Haven't been skiing in ages. Slalom Chalet. Yesterday, Dithers slipped on the chalet's icy stairs, went airborne, and managed to impale herself on the wrought iron fence. It was spectacular and completely and utterly random. Is there anything more sublime than that old crimson on fresh fallen snow? It was almost enough to make me reconsider a change of scenery, but not quite. 23 years is a long enough vacation in the Swiss Alps. I long for something more domestic. I have surprised myself. I find Tranquility Lane comforting. Although distinctly American, it somehow reminds me of Kronak, the town of my childhood. There's a beautiful irony with this particular simulation as well. The residents here are naturally at home, naturally safe. When I toy with them, when their suburban illusion is suddenly broken, it's that much more satisfying. I do believe we shall all remain here in Tranquility Lane for a very long time. A very long time indeed. Display current version control. Exceptions granted for pod 0001. Manual override for pods disabled. Remote access allowed. User S. Braun has privileges. Okay. Updated neural inputs to override memory access. Revised code for vault maintenance robots. Authentication. User unknown granted access. And then altered by S. Braun. That's gotta be dad. Okay. Previous version notes. Well, previous version's white. Well, I'm gonna initiate. I can't quick save. I want a quick save. Okay. Um, Kronach is a town in Germany. Oh no way! That's cool that they like did their research. All right, let's access in Chinese invasion failsafe subroutine access. Dr. Braun entry failsafe. There are days I considered finally pulling the plug, as it were, and putting a permanent end to both the simulation and my life. That is the reason I requested installation of General Chase's Chinese invasion protocol program after all. By disabling the safety protocols, I have ensured that each subject in Vault 112 will physically die if their in-simulation avatars are killed. It's SAO stuff. Real world death, end of simulation. Perfect failsafe. At least it would have been if not for my own misjudgment. I knew when the simulation first went online that the secondary safeties, those established for all vault tech and military personnel, would prevent my own real world demise in the event of a failsafe execution. In the end, I would kill the subjects and save myself. I wouldn't want it any other way, or so I thought. It's true the failsafe would scare the living hell out of every resident and lead to their brutal deaths, but then what about me? I have no ability to disable my own safety from within the simulation. And any other avatars I would create would be driven by the simulation's AI routines, not actual living, thinking human subjects. Where's the fun in tormenting a machine? And so, the release of the real-world subjects is more than they deserve, more that I could bear. They'd be dead, and I'd be left here in Tranquility Lane, alone and tragically bored for all eternity. I can think of nothing more unacceptable. I'll say program documentation. I do think it's strange that this dude who was born and raised in Germany exclusively writes all of his notes in a language that I'm fluent in instead of in German, but obviously that would be difficult for the player if they couldn't translate at all. Uh, Dr. Braun, here's the revised code for the military training program you've expressed interest in. I'm not sure exactly what you want to do with it, and I again stress that this program was never designed to be run with civilian equipment. Frankly, I don't expect any system you have access to can even run it. But if you can run this program with the failsafes off as requested, your real world test subjects will die if killed in the simulation. Simulate a communist incursion on US soil. 
Sable safety protocols override target acquisition. Test subjects will experience world world termination. Okay, well, I don't want to do that. How do I take out Braun but leave everyone else alive? Um... I can't. Yeah, let's talk to Betty, because their bodies are still in seemingly fine health. They could come out of this and just, like, live? You know what I mean? You're supposed to be making Timmy cry. You can do it. I know you can. When you win the game, maybe we can talk some more. Betty won't talk to me about anything Tell else. But the trauma? But their memories were wiped. Besides, it's not for me to decide if they live or die. Ugh. I don't have a choice, do I? I either make Timmy cry. Hmm... Torture a child or torture a town? Wonder if Dithers has anything else uh, anything else to say. Where is she? Are you home? You do more than make Timmy cry. That's the thing. I don't think it's going to stop there. I think Braun is excited to have somebody new in his simulation. Remember what I told you. The failsafe. You've got to find it. The abandoned house. Dang it. Uh... But if, hold on, no, if I pull the plug, my dad dies too. Right? It kills everyone in the simulation. So would that not include my father? Uh, all right. I'm going to save and I'm going to see both options. I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to. Pull the plug first Hello. and Hello. see what happens. This is the abandoned house or is this Dither's place? This is the abandoned house. Okay. Oh, this feels awful. I've gained karma? I sentenced people to die. How did I gain karma? This doesn't feel good at all. It's considered a moral good since they're suffering. Yeah. Why are you still here? Do you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe, ruined everything. The subjects will die and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything, everything. It's all over. Now shut up and answer my questions. It is not over. It is not over until I say so. Do you understand me? I, I, I. I just want things to go back the way they were. Tell me about Gek. The Garden of Eden creation kit. It was for terraforming, for restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology and ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? I came from my father. Where is he? He's been right here the whole time. And you were too Hold dense it. to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. I'm 
talking about this place, about Tranquility Lane. It is my greatest achievement. The best of the many simulations I've run in these 200 years. I played with the others, but they bored me. This version never grew old. It amused me over and over and over again. Hmm. Who are you really? My name is Stanislaus Braun. I'm a vault tech scientist. I created this simulation for vault tech but for myself as well. It was my own design, my own perfection. A better reality than any other. Far greater than my work on the Gek. Can I get my father back? Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. I'm free to leave? Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything! I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. Hmm. Okay. Run along now. Okay, so... Let me make a save. I'm curious to see the alternative. The alternative being, let's Good just day. bully this poor child. Hiya. Hi. Want to play? I am not looking forward to this. I just want to see what happens. Uh, I heard your parents are getting a divorce. You're a big dumb liar. Okay. Hi. Want to play? Um, you're getting sent to military school. What? No, I'm not. I got the brochure right here. But. But I don't want to go away. I don't want to leave my mommy. No, no. Oh, dang. Straight up lost karma. Yeah, I should. That's a horrible thing to do to a kid. Even the RNG doesn't want you to be evil. All right, Betty Braun. Yay, you did it. Good job. <laughs> a clever approach. Ah. I'm not sure I would have considered it. Very encouraging. Your reward for winning the game is to ask a single question. I will answer honestly and frankly. How do I get out of here? An interesting choice. Certainly not what I had anticipated. Simply put, you leave when I say so. This place is under my control and I dictate the terms. If I decide to let you go, you may go. What else do I have to do? An excellent question. Timmy was easy and therefore boring. I desire some real entertainment. The Rockwells are the picture of a happy marriage. Change that. Split them up without killing either of them. Yeah. If you can do that, okay. I'll have a good laugh and then we'll talk some more. Can I hit Betty? You can't do that here. And now you have to pay. What the hell? Why are my limbs all stretchy? What did you do? Did you make me Mr. Fantastic? Okay, yeah, um, I still feel awful about what I had to do, but I don't feel as bad as having to, like, further torture everyone. Oh, I lost the undies! Oh, hi, Dad. You saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Oh, it's so good to see you, but what are you doing here? I came to find you. Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. Hmm. <laughs> well, you don't like being a dog? <laughs> when your dad is a dog, I mean... Stranger things have happened, right? 
Yeah, no, I don't want to continue that. I'll like, read about it later, but I already feel awful having to like, like now that I know what Bronze Hole Shtick was, just buying into his torture these people thing, like I, I'm, I still don't love the solution of the simulation program ending it all for everyone, but it beats having to just buy into his sick game, you know? Good thing I showed up to save you. It certainly is. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. And thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity isn't lost after all. Oh, uh... Don't you want a break after what you've been through? No, no. It would be time to rest when the work is complete. This is far too important. I need to get back to Rivet City right away. There's so much to be done. So you're going back to Rivet City right now? Yes. With what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. Um... Okay, I have a question. I If I say, let's head for Rivet City, does he go there and I can just do other quests? I'm not, like, locked into the end game yet, right? I don't think the main quest has been that long. Anyway, yeah, you can't, like, save these people. Yeah, which feels bad. All right, cool. So I'm just going to say let's head for Rivet City. That's my girl. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. He will run there physically and you can follow? Okay, what exactly is Project Purity? It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loves so much? Oh, barely. Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on D.C.'s tidal basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. Can we just talk for a minute? Of course, honey. What's on your mind? Oh, can't we just go back to the vault? I don't think this, but I'm curious to see what he has to say. Somehow, I don't think the overseer would agree with that. What's done is done. But if we succeed, if we can make Project Purity a reality, we can create a new life for ourselves out here. You really think you can do this? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. With what I've learned from Dr. Braun, I know it can work. That's why it's so important to find a Gek as soon as possible. Mm. It's the key to Project Purity. Hey, I'm glad we talked. So am I, my love. While this isn't what I had in mind, it's good to have you with me. So what happened to Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant's problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and mm. so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. Okay, so how did Mom really die? I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. Okay. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. Uh... <laughs> this is such an insensitive question, but I want to see what he has to say. What's the big deal about water anyway? The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Mm. Water out here is never clean and almost always irradiated. 
It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. Mm. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. Um, all right, maybe this is like a simplistic question. Be careful. Is he gonna die or is he essential? Like, if I follow him, will he survive on his own? Um, sorry, but I was just thinking, um, he's essential? Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna just follow him out of here. Bye, Robo Brain. Um, if vaults have water purification systems, why not use those on a larger scale? Is this like a dumb question? <laughs> He gets into a lot of fights. Yeah, but if he can't die, then I'm not terribly worried. Hello, little rat friends. Too much power. Oh, that makes sense. That actually, yeah, like at scale. Ones in the vault are too small and weak. Yeah, okay, that, that tracks. How are we gonna find a Gek though? It's been like 200 something years, right? Oh God, yeah, he has to go all the way to Rivet City. That's the other side of the map, my man. That blows. Um, I don't want to continue the main quest at the moment. Um, so maybe this is naive, but I'm gonna just kind of wander around a bit. Um, and see. I'm gonna like discover locations and see what happens, you know? Cause I don't really have a lot of quests at the moment. I did finish Moira's quest. It was a lot of fun. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> what? Doing a little squat. I just want to turn on my light. Ooh, energy cells. Oh, I have to go sell all my stuff. We have met dog meat. Dog meat lives in my house. Because if dog meat dies, I will cry. Uh. Doo -doo -doo. I'm over encumbered. No. Or no. I don't want to be over encumbered. Dang it. All right. Uh huh. 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 Um, anything else I can repair? Aw, oh, man, my shotgun's all old. All right, cool. At least I can keep moving. Um, oh, sorry, three dog. Yeah, I've met three dog. Oh, shoot, I gotta equip a weapon. Uh, Sam Warwick. Why are you immediately hostile, Sam? Sam's bugged. Is it okay if I shoot hey, Sam? Where? That's it, that's it. I shoot you in the butt. Alright, what's your deal? Ooh, sniper rifle! Thank y'all! I don't know who Sam is, though. <laughs> Merc to dude, but I don't know what his deal is. Um. There we go. I don't- I guess rest in peace, Sam. If he's someone people cared about, I'm sorry. <laughs> But he was an enemy, so I figured I'd do a little pew pew. Um, let's go sell a bunch of junk in Megaton. All of us here thank you for everything you've done. It oh, that's actually a good question. Do I have my armor on? Nope. <laughs> thank you. I forgot that I had to change it. Uh, let's put that on. There we go. Now I'm all... Whoa. Random encounter can spawn anywhere at any time. Pretty rare spawn. You got lucky. So he's just a guy with a name and zero dialogue? 
and zero story? It's just like a Radiant quest? To murder a sniper man? At least you weren't in the buff. Hey, Does this game have dialogue for that? Apparently, uh, Baldur's you... Gate 3 has dialogue if you talk to people while naked, and I've been meaning to test that out out of sheer curiosity. You don't have any freaking caps, Moira. God damn it, Moira. Let me sell my junk to you. Ugh. Um... Right, Good I'll hunting. go somewhere else. Sam will be remembered. I've already forgot Sam's last name. <laughs> uh, where else can I sell stuff? I don't even remember. Uh, oh, Rivet City. I can sell stuff in the marketplace. Let me in. Welcome to Rivet City. Hello, Hargrave. I think so far Hargrave's one of my favorite characters. Cause his quest is fun. Oh, Harkness. Look at me getting his name wrong. I'm a bad friend. <laughs> I forgot everyone favors me here now, so I can sell my stuff for like a, a nice, nice and tidy profit. Uh, la 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 la. Uh, da, 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 da. No. Um. Uh, what else do I not need? I'll buy some ammo. Oh, actually, let's buy some packs. And I can sell more stuff. Uh Cool. Thanks. Another satisfied customer. I'm going to play with DJ. Did I just sell my equipped weapon? It's fine. I it, the one I currently have has enough uh but uh, condition level to be fine. Uh, yeah, I do have my armor on. I'm not naked. Well, I wasn't naked before either, but now I'm like super not naked, so that's good. Um, all right, my chat broke for a second there, but I'll fix it. Okay. Uh, we want to go. We're just gonna roam around. Yeah. We're just gonna go look for quests. Uh, sorry, I wanted to go this way because there's a, a point of interest I haven't discovered yet. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the DLCs, I think, until the end. I'm, gonna, I'm planning to treat this the way I did New Vegas, where I'm gonna just kind of try and get every quest done that's not DLC, and then save the main quest for as late as possible. Um, Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. So I know that there's like cool stuff you can do in the DLC, but I'm just gonna wait and I'll, I'm gonna just play it in release order. Um, cause that just makes sense to me as a first time player. I'll just play them in whatever order they came out in. I should have a weapon equipped. La la la. Hello. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. What the hell? Fun. Uh, 
Oh, hello. You have friends. Um, that's not fair. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, I forgot this one takes forever to reload. Hold the phone. Um, I don't want to use the other one because it's kind of hurt. So we'll just do this. Aren't I really good at kiting? <laughs> oh, Noggin went flying. Oh, this guy's got a sword. No wonder I'm hurt. Where did you find a sword? This isn't Great Britain. They don't just have swords in lakes in the DC area. Like, where are you finding this stuff, man? Y'all are silly. Ow. All right, let's, let's get you. Come here. Crouch. Right in the groin. That's right. Hee <laughs> hee, I lived. We have a friend? Oh, hey, he's doing a little dancey dance. Oh! I did it! <laughs> um, let's see, what, what do I want to level up? Um, let's level up speech. Uh, let's level up medicine. That reminds me, I can do the medicine check on that dude, right? Wasn't it like a medicine check of like 50? Oh, I want to do more science, and I want to do more lockpick. Hey, nice. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Ooh, prices of items reduced by twenty five percent. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab Master Trader. That feels pretty good. Um. Ew, what? If you have the Lawbringer perk, any evil character you kill will have a finger. This finger can then be sold to a certain person for caps and positive karma? Am I gonna be a Yubi hunter? What? Why fingers? Why fingers? I think, I, 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 how does, does, I, how can you prove at least heads make sense. How I could just take a finger off any old body and be like, behold, a reliquary. Like, that's not a proof of nothing. It's a proof that I got a finger and that I'm a little freak. Cyborg? Ooh, that's pretty good too. The other option is ears. Oh, that's where it comes from in New Vegas then. I, I, Fingerprint stuck tech exists. Yeah, but here's the thing. You need their fingerprint for that to work, right? So let's say me, fresh out of the vault, starts murdering a bunch of people, and everyone's like, we have a hit out on Clara Dogford. They don't got my fingerprint. So how would they how would they ever know? That's silly. Um, I do, however, like money um, and karma. So I'm going to take Lawbringer because it's, it's funny. Um, all of a day's work. Oh, wait, so now if I go and, uh, shmurder those- Oh, frick! Ah, jeez! Ah, beans! Um, if I were to go murder those people for that guy in Underworld, would I get karma for that? Would I get fingers? <laughs> if I kill Dukov, do I get a finger out of the deal? Um, there you are! Thank you for the stuff. Hey there, mister. And a little jig. Hey, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Depends, is he evil? Here's the thing. That, that is like the one challenge with karma systems is like, when a video game has a karma system, that video game has to immediately make a, um, 
decision on what in in universe is moral and good, right? Um, and so they'll say, okay, this act is good and this act is bad and so on and so forth. But that ends up applying a very narrow perspective on morality, which is like a constriction of, of video games in general, right? Like if you're gonna create a morality system, then you have to create the rules that it's bound by and blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't dislike karma systems necessarily, but it is um, restrictive in some ways. Where are we gonna go next? Let's go this way. There's a map marker this way. Are you going to the Lawbringer HQ? There is an there is an HQ. What is? I didn't know. I I actually didn't even remember to ask who I sell the fingers to. I was just gonna. I don't know. I guess search corpses and wait for fingers to show up. <laughs> I didn't actually think about them having a headquarters. Oh, it gives you a map marker. Oh, then let's head there. Hold the phone. Ah, oh, shoot. No, that's dad. Um. I don't know where to look for it. The Republic of Dave? Oh, God. That sounds awful. That's one of the people I have to murder. Temple of the Union. Regulator HQ. Riverboat Landing. Does anyone know where their headquarters are? Because I'm not seeing it oh regulator hq is the place oh okay let's go there oh it's dark hold on let's wait for daytime there we go. And we want to be going northeast. Probably that little area of interest. Scared of the night? No, honestly, it's just so dang dark in this game at night, which makes sense because they don't have a ton of light sources at night. Um, so I just don't like traveling at night because I can't see nothing. I got bad vision, y'all. Oh, hi. I, um, hello. I didn't realize you were there. Um, can I, can I convince you to reconsider? This is not as effective as I would like it to be. And I keep hiding into rocks, which is also not as effective as I would like it to be. There we go. Bye-bye. Okay, so we'll go. I'm not seeing any buildings yet. Just a very bright sunrise. Ouch. My eyes. Um. Oh, I should, however, heal. <laughs> Lil hurt. Never take the contract killer perk because there are so few NPCs with good karma and they only pay 25 caps per year. Even if it was super, um. What's the word? Lucrative? I don't want to hurt good people and take their ears. Like, none of that appeals to me. You know, when I heard headquarters, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but it wasn't straight up a shack. Who are you? Oh, you're just regulator? You're a regulator? Um... Are you someone? Oh, Sonora well, Cruz. I'm guessing that you've come about the notice. You know, I've heard about you. You're not bad people, from what I understand. And the regulators can always use good folks. So what do you say? You read the notice, and you're here, so I'm guessing that you want to ride with us. Am I right? Uh, sh sure. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Ooh, coat! Take this coat. We all wear them. The unrighteous fear the sight of the regulators. 
Now, as for the rest, here's the only thing we want from you. Hunt down the evil, the wicked, and the villainous. Bring them to justice. Okay. Bring us their fingers as proof of the deed. We'll pay you a bounty for each one. Simple, right? Questions? Um... What do you do with these fingers? Nothing. Nothing at all. They only serve to mark the fact that justice has been done. While we trust mm. our members not to take innocent lives for profit, having a record of the deed is sometimes necessary. While we don't have liars in our midst, occasionally we all embellish a bit. Do we? Okay. Uh, is this all of the regulators? Oh, no. We're spread all around. <clears throat> the few here just assist me in organizing things here at the headquarters. There are regulators everywhere. The thing is, if you see them, then they're likely the last thing that you'll see. Okay. Stay righteous? That's like, I don't know if that's lame or awesome. I'm kind of leaning towards a little lame. <laughs> little, little, little disappointing. All right, so if I just hurt bad people, I get money? Um, interesting. So... I want to check out the Republic of Dave, because that already sounds, um, very sus. I'm, I'm curious to find out, uh, what his whole deal is. If I had to guess, it's not a Republic and is probably some kind of dictatorship. But I, I don't imagine this dude knows what a Republic actually is. <laughs> It's a republic. How bad could it be? <laughs> yeah, that's my fear. Is it's gonna be real bad? Um, but hey, if I get a finger out of it, but it does depend. Like, here's the thing. Maybe he's like actually not a terrible person. I feel like that's not gonna be the case. But you know, here's to finding out, I guess. Why am I not hitting you? There we go. Come on. Ah, oh, beans, a freaking wall. What a waste of perfectly good ammunition. Get out of here, Mr. Scorpion, please. Oh, God. Uh, mm. Can you climb rocks? Oh god, yeah, okay, yep, you can climb. You can climb. I really wish this thing had an extended magazine. Please jump, you clown. God, you dumb. Ugh, it's so hard to do kiting techniques when the game doesn't work with you. I'm gonna die to a freaking scorpion. There we go. All right, so let's heal up. What's that duster situation? Oh, it looks cool, but it don't have a lot of armor. Also, if I wear it walking into his camp, he'll probably get all um jumpy. I thought that was a weapon rack, but it's just like girders and steel. Um this feels like a great place for an ambush. If raiders were smart, they'd hide out in this rubble. Oh, Temple of the Union. What's your deal? What's your business, stranger? Um, I don't know what you're hiding there. Uh, I want to do some trading. Hannibal says I gotta let folks like you in, but that don't mean I have to like it. Oh, there's Keep no uniform system. Got and it. Don't make any sudden moves. Hey. I'm coming down to open the gate. Yeah, sure. Um, hands to myself. Bring me. Oh, I was hoping for a sound. Hannibal is upstairs somewhere. I'm locking the door behind you, so don't try anything. I'm watching you. Okay. What are you doing over here? Go talk to Hannibal, stranger. 
Don't you be stopping here, lady. You got to talk to Hannibal. Why first. are you carving from light right to left? Interesting. All right, where's Hannibal? If it's Hannibal Lecter, Watch I'm gonna step. scream. <gasps> dog, hello. Four score and seven years ago is if seven years ago is also a dog here, that would be actually kind of funny. Hannibal. Hello. Are you Hannibal? Ah, a visitor. Welcome to the Temple of the Union. I'm not going to ask you who you are. Uh, for the moment, I don't care. We are all escaped slaves. Oh. I need your solemn promise not to betray us to Paradise Falls or the slavers. Until I get that, you cannot leave here. So, do I have your word? I solemnly swear to protect the Temple of the Union. Welcome, sister, to the Temple of the Union. Our home is your home. Your past is your own affair so long as you serve our common good. As a symbol of our trust, here is a key to the gate. This man has such a great beard. Yeah, I was just thinking if they remade this game, this man would be a hot dilf. Um, what is that stone head? That's Abraham Lincoln, the great emancipator. We don't know how it came to be here, but it's fitting, don't you think? So you used to be a slave? For 23 years, I was a slave. Oof. Ever since I was 14. Six years ago, I managed to escape from my master. He's been hunting me ever since. When I found the head of Lincoln here, I knew it was a sign for me to help other slaves to escape. I founded the Temple of the Union as a safe haven for runaway slaves everywhere. Hmm. What are you doing hold up here? We are trying to make a safe haven for all runaway slaves. We give food and supplies to any that find us and help them on their way. Why don't you let them stay here? We don't have enough room. There's not enough water or food here. Mm. But I have a plan. A plan to take over a place that will be a shining beacon of hope for all slaves. Okay. Um. Where is this place? Oh, wouldn't a beacon just attract the slavers? You make jokes when the lives and freedom of our I fellow men are I wasn't a joke. I was, it's a serious question. I, you, I know a place that we can defend from the slavers. All right. Where is this place? I want to move all my people to the memorial site for the great Abraham Lincoln, but I need to know if it's safe. I've heard rumors of super mutants infesting that area, though. We need to send someone to check that out first. Oh, yeah, I can get rid of them, sure. I was hoping you would help us. The memorial is easy to find. Good luck. One other thing. Talk to Caleb. He'll need your help. We can't leave unless he's ready, too. Okay, what is it that Caleb needs? He was a stonemason. It will fall to him to restore the memorial as best he can. He's been pestering me for weeks now to get him some things he needs. I don't have time to deal with him right now. Okay. May the spirit of the great Lincoln protect you. I picked the same beacon comment with the same thought. Right? Like, I wasn't trying to be mean, my man. It was a genuine question. Um. You're Caleb. You're new. I'm Caleb. If you're going to be staying a while... I could use some help. Okay, what do you need? Hannibal told you about Lincoln's memorial? Mm-hmm. Well, he doesn't just want to live there. He also wants to restore it. Make it so people tell stories about it and the word can get to the slaves. But I can't restore something if I don't know what it looked like. I need a drawing, a photograph of it. Oh. Where the hell am I supposed to get a picture of the memorial? Our ancestors honored Lincoln's life with a display in the Museum of History. I'm hoping that a picture of the memorial still survives in there. Hmm. Um, okay. What do you do here? My former master trained me in masonry. I fix things. Someday I hope to reattach Lincoln's head to the statue in the memorial. Okay. Yeah, um... Okay. All right, I'll find that picture for you. I'm not going to do that right now, but at least... Oh, hold on. Is that actually a quest marker that I have? The one thing about this game... Okay, cool. Like, sometimes there's quests that, like, aren't quests, and they, like, don't tell you, and then I don't, I don't want to forget to, like, do them later. I still want to hit up Mr. Dave, though. But I would like to help our union pals later. I just have to remember to repair my shotgun before I go back to fight a bunch of super mutants. My shotgun is, uh, not doing hot. Um, it does tell you something that Hannibal would think your question was a joke, though. 
for sure. And he has every right to be like, hey, don't don't joke about our lack of survival. That's mean. Um Is there a dust cloud over there? Oh, it's just a radiation pit. Okay. <laughs> Oh, but why are there radiation pits? These look like these used to be fields. Someone salted the earth, maybe? Hmm. Get the combat shotgun? I already have a combat shotgun. I just gotta repair it. Like, <laughs> the only reason I've been using it is because it's, like, so close to breaking. I don't want it to just be completely useless. Um, so I just have to go back to uh, Rivet City at some point and just pay for that repair. Hopefully it won't be too expensive. Is this a map marker? I think it is. It's just not marking. There we go. Uh, man, this dude really made his republic in just the middle of nowheres, huh? How does he get supplies if he's, like, so far away from everything? I can't decide if I'm going to show up to a place where it's literally just this one dude or, like, there's a lot of... Like, I'm, I'm trying to decide... Either it's just going to be Dave, and he's going to be like, I'm king of the castle, or it's going to be Dave with a bunch of people who are stuck under his thumb. I can't decide which is going to be the case just yet, um, but it'll be interesting to find out, I suppose. Do you think they have a Wendy's? You know, I'm sure there's myths about Wendy's, because I'm sure, like, the the facades would have survived, right? Aw, oh, shoot. There's something on the map. What the hell is it? God, freaking bugs. Ew, why is it making that sound? Do I think Dave's single? I don't want to know if Dave's single. Ew. Not interested. Keep a healthy distance. Where's your buddy? Want to figure out your pathing. There you go. Oh, I should have been shooting their antennas so they'd all fight each other. That would have been smart. I forgot that's something that happens in this game. Power station? This probably has a quest attached to it later. Hey there, pal. Bye, pal. <laughs> Did you ever run into the fire ants? Oh, uh, I think so. Yeah, the ones that were um, scientifically engineered by that crackpot. DC might be worse than other wastelands yet. Still doesn't... Still got supply chains going on. I mean, like, you wouldn't have a post-Wasteland civilization without supply lines. This feels like his, uh, Republic. Yup, alright! Hey, who are you? What do you want from the Republic of Date? Oh, this kid's using child soldiers? Don't worry, I'm just here to play Republic with you. I like playing Republic. I always get to play as Date. Here, I'll take you to him. Just be sure you call him Mr. President Daddy. Ew. He likes that. I don't want to call anyone Daddy. Ugh. Oh, I did not have child soldiers on my possibilities for this dude. Oh, gross. Ew. Ugh. All right. Who are you? Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Girl, that's a cult. Get out. All right. What's up, yeah. man? I am Dave, president of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President, or I will have you executed. Good. Now, 
Are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? <laughs> Most exalted President Dave, I am an ambassador from the Wasteland. You are? Excellent. It's good to see that the Wasteland has finally recognized the Sovereign Republic of Dave. If the people of the Wasteland are generous Jackson, and respectful, please don't spoil things. I might deign to annex them. I'm sorry. <laughs> How does this dude know these words? Um. Anything happening in this place, Mr. President? There's an election for the next president. Ooh. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? I really wouldn't know. I just got here. Ah, a seeker of knowledge then. Well, trust me. An election is what separates a president like myself from a monarch like my father. So your father was a monarch, but you still inherited rule by being a president? Mm, okay. Your father was a monarch and you're a president? How does that work? My father inherited his political power from birth and renamed this great nation the Kingdom of Tom. Although I also inherited my political power from my father when I took over, I formed a republic so the people may elect their leader. Hmm. So can I have someone else put into power and then schmirk you? I'd like to discuss the election with you. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? Who's eligible to vote? That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In the Republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old enough to vote. Rosie and Jessica are usually here in the capital. Bob usually hangs out outside near the Brahmin pen. Mm. Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there. Okay. Who's running in the election? Nobody except me. Why would the people need anyone else but Dave? I give them all that they ask for. Mm. Oh, I want to throw my hat in the ring for presidency. I'm sorry, but the president must be a citizen of the Republic to run for office. So you do not qualify. Then make me a citizen, Buster Brown. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, could I help with the election? All right, sure. Why not? The people have a tendency to wait until the last minute to vote, but I'd like just to get it over with. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today so I cinch the victory. Not that I have anything to worry about. The people know who their leader is in this republic. I want to see if I can make them vote for someone else that's not him. This guy sucks. Uh... Bye. Hi there, honey. Rosie. Have you spoken to Dave? I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. I'd like to know more about the Republic. Sure, honey. But don't make it too long, or Dave will start wondering why we're talking. This is a cult. Girl, that's not healthy. Tell me more about this Dave guy. Dave is a good man. He looks after all the children and makes sure they have plenty to do. He's bought a lot of toys. Not that he'd admit it. He has our Shauna teach classes to the younger ones. She's over at the Museum of Dave to the west of the Republic. Uh, what's your take on the Republic? We have plenty of food and water here, and the compound is fairly safe. I'm glad the children can be raised here, away from the wasteland. I'd like to see more trading done with the local caravans, but Dave's afraid their outside influence could weaken the Republic. It's not a cult, it's a republic. Please don't arrest me, Dave. <laughs> Can you tell me about yourself? Not much to say, really. I'm Dave's wife, or first wife, I guess. I've lived here for many years now. He has two wives? Well, yes. Dave and I were married when he was wandering the wasteland, before inheriting the republic from his father, Tom. After Ralph was born... Dave said that the president of the Republic needed to repopulate the wasteland. So, now we have a second wife. <sighs> Ew, that sucks, girlfriend. Sure, honey. So 
So here's what sucks. I don't want to have to kill him because that means having to kill all of these people. Dave says you're okay? Fine. All right, uh, let's talk about the Republic. You should talk to Dave, but okay. You're allowed to have your own feelings and opinions. Your identity extends beyond your husband. Oh my God. You're Dave's second wife? First wife. Rosie is the second wife, since she's the oldest and not good for anything anymore. Okay, tell me about Dave. That's President Dave to you, Wastelander. Call him by his full name, or we'll shoot you. He takes care of all of us. Even that selfish Rosie and her brats. My children will be a lot nicer than hers. Tell me more about yourself. All I have to say is Dave is my husband. Mine. Do you understand? I don't care what Rosie has to say about it. Just because Rosie used to be this big leader out in the wasteland, she thinks she's better than me. She even ordered Dave around once. I think this place would be better off if Rosie took power. What's your take on the Republic? Dave is a great leader. He's going to bring civilization back to the wasteland. One day, they'll say it all started here. Mmm. Sure, babe. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Um. Really want to know. I would love to make Rosie president instead, but I don't know if that option exists for me. Come on, make it fast. I got chores. Let's know more about the Republic. Shauna runs the museum, not me. What the hell do you want? Uh, Dave has two wives? Yes, he does. And they're both pains in my mean? ass. Mean? Always got to keep them in line or else they get all teary. Tell me more about Dave. Dave made me second commander of the army of Dave. And that means I get a gun. Don't make me have to use it. Hmm. I want to know more about you. All you need to know is that I'm second in command next to Dave. So don't bother me. And don't talk to Rosie or Jessica either. Those are Dave's wives, and they have work they need to do. Mm. Dave is in charge. When he's not around, I'm in charge. If you want anything else, go to the Museum of Dave on the left side of the compound. Okay. Just... Is there no way to usurp this election? Let's get class started. So, Dave gave you the okay, huh? Well, welcome then. I run the Museum of Dave, where the children of the Republic can learn about their heritage. Hmm. Sure. The Museum of Dave is happy to answer any questions on behalf of the Republic of Dave's Office of Tourism. Dave revised the restrictive marriage laws of the Kingdom of Tom shortly after the Republic Of course was he did. Multiple marriages is now considered one of the great free freedoms of the Republic of Dave. Mm. Oh, you're visiting the Republic of Dave. Wonderful. I don't think so. This place sucks. Uh, tell me more about Dave. President Dave is the savior of the wasteland, bringing peace and order to the savages man has brought upon himself. If you would like to learn more, Please stop by the Museum of Dave's official tour at 2 p.m. Me? I just run the museum and teach classes to the little ones. You know, truth, justice, and the will of Dave. The Republic of Dave offers a rich history rivaling that of the great nations before the war. How very Dave-like. Oh, yes. Everything here is from Dave's adventures in the Wasteland before he founded the Republic. I give a tour every day starting around 2 p.m. You should stop by then. Hmm. Me? I'm not sure if I can help you. Who's running in the election? Only Dave. He's the only person who ever runs. I'd like to throw my hat in the ring. Did you ask Dave if that's okay? Oh, let me see if I can convince Rosie to run. Because she actually has leadership experience, right? So I wonder if I can convince her to run against him. Man, the Brahmins smell awful. Today. To find where she is. Rosie. 
Dusty. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. Election time. Have you considered running for presidency? Believe it or not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. But what am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. You could lead the Republic into a new era, the democracy of Rosie. You're right. Dave's just been pushing me around. Yeah. It's time for a change. Mm-hmm. You should go vote. You're right. I'll go right now. She's going to go vote for herself, right? Did I do that right? As long as I can sway two more people, Fingers three crossed. more people. Dave says you're okay? Fine. I'll help you if I can. You know, Rosie's running for president now. Poor girl doesn't stand much of a chance, does she? Hmm. Anything else? Let's see if I can convince, um... What's her name? Donna. Something you need? Aw, oh, man, I don't have a way of convincing Waiter. her to vote for Rosie. Oh, wastelander. How am I supposed to do this? Bob, come here. Bob. Come on, make it fast. I got chores. Oh, I have to rig the election? That kind of sucks. So I've heard. She couldn't possibly think that she'd be better than Dave. Um, I'm sorry. Why do you think he'd be good? Okay, so the only way to do it is to rig it. How would I ever know to do that? Well, where's the voting spot? Um, where's the ballot box, I guess is the question. Is this the toilet? Gross. Um... Yeah, in that case, all I needed to know was if I had to rig it or not. I didn't need all the details. Under the stairs in the main building. Okay, thank you all. This quest isn't even marked. See, it's like the one thing about this game that's kind of frustrating. Don't get any ideas. Is, um, like, there's so many quests that aren't marked. Which is fun from the perspective of, like, oh, I just discovered something. But it's not fun when I have to remember what quests I have. Hold on, if it's locked, I have to find the key? Do I have to pickpocket the key off of Dave, I guess? Or is it on like a desk somewhere? It's gonna be, I have to pickpocket off of Dave, don't I? Hey Jessica, you excited about the election? Mm, yeah. Hey. Hi. Oh, you have to open it Hello. exactly when he does? Okay, so I'm going to make a hard save. Okay. I'm going to convince everyone to vote. Dave says you're okay? Actually... I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna talk to Jessica last because that'll put me in the building. Let me convince Shauna and Bob to vote. Come on, make it fast. I got chores. Fine, I'll get out of the way. Hey there, are you gonna play Republic with us? Hello. The only something you need? Go vote. Oh no. Dave said. Almost as big as Dave. About okay. I'm gonna be super fast. Now it's a matter of okay. telling Dave Jessica to okay. vote. Fine. I guess you're right. And now I tell Dave. Hey there. Out with it, Ambassador. This Republic isn't going to run itself. 
Did you vote? Of course I voted. Okay. Yeah, I have a stealth boy, so I might use All it. Ah, uh, Dave, lead our republic to glory. All right. I suppose yeah, for I know I can talk to him about Crowley. Out. I intentionally haven't been talking to him about that. I want to see what happens if I can get Rosie elected first. I came here for blood. I'm just doing this first. Did he come here yet and I just missed him? Oh, I'm detected. For a reason, don't get any ideas. Good to see you. Do I have to tell him that everyone put their stuff in, maybe? Hey. Hey there. Yes? What can President... Um, hmm. I suppose voting for Dave is the patriotic thing to do. There we go. Man, the Brahmin smell awful today. Bob got his vote in. Shauna got her vote in. Is that everyone now? Yes. What can President... No? Hmm? Dave says you're okay. I'm okay. You went and voted. I just have to discuss the election with him. Yes. What can? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Man, the dialogue, it's kind of interesting to me how the dialogue trees work in this game compared to New Vegas. I don't like how it's organized in this game as much. Um, I can understand from a writing and programming perspective using the same dialogue, copy paste it, like the same questions copy paste it on each NPC is a lot easier. But man, it's like way less flavorful and a lot harder to find what I'm looking for. Um, all votes are in. Good. Oh, yes. I oh, I get caps? Forgot. Here's your caps. Keep this up, and I may deign to make you a citizen in a few years. All right, cool. So now we run. We get a quick Hello. save. I crouch. I eat a stealth boy. And now I wait. Come on, mister. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> a vote for me, and another vote for me. No, did he find it already? A vote for Rosie? Wait a minute. Has somebody tampered with the ballot box? <laughs> hmm. After counting the votes, the president is... Rosie? Rosie can't be president. <laughs> no. This is unfair. This can't be. Fine. Oh, this feels nice. See how you people do without me. Enjoy your new president. Oh my god, amazing. Are you just going to go into the wasteland alone? I guess you're wondering where I'm going. I'm off. Wait, where do you say annex the old hey what there. what? Hey. I guess you're wondering where I'm going. I'm off to annex old only and forge the new Republic of Dave. Don't try to stop me. I have something more specific in mind. Wait, Dave is a horrible person. He has at least one child here and two wives. And he's such a little prissy baby that losing his yes. election has made him just abandon everything and everyone. Okay. Weird. Um, so then... I guess what we'll do is uh, get a finger out of him, huh? How does that sound? Hello. He'll go sit in an alley. Yeah. If you try to talk to him, he'll kill you. I'm not even worried about that. I'm just waiting to get far enough from here to murder him without anyone noticing. 
And then I want to go talk to Rosie and ask her about what it feels like to be president. That's right, he doesn't even know I'm stalking him. I'm gonna try and get a nice, good position. Oh, my stealth boy weren't. Aw, oh, man. I was gonna be like a little. Uh, uh, what's the word? I was gonna be a creature in the night. Hounding him. I just don't want anyone to get hostile with me. So it might take a minute because this man walks slow, but. I'm gonna take him out and, uh, maybe see if I get a finger out of the deal. And even if I don't, I can, uh, at least take care of this for Crowley. I do kind of, I should have talked to him about Crowley. I thought I'd be able to talk to him after the election closed. I didn't realize he would, like, lock out of dialogue, but... I did it! Feels kind of murder hobo -y. I have a quest about it, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> Your butt's out. Cool. Will they turn hostile? Let's find out. Oh, they do. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I just won't go back. There's a person out here? There's people out here. Who's out here? Whoa. Oh, you're not people. You're a bear. Hello. Mwah. Bye bye People said to walk north of here, but there's nothing out here. Like, there's no areas of interest. Just bugs. Everyone said that I'd find a uh, oasis, but there's nothing. Oh, if you wait for him to attack you? You know, that's smart. Let's do that instead. <laughs> Alright, so he said he was going to Ol' Ornery? I don't know where that is. Is it on my map now? I guess I'll just walk with him Good and... See you. Oh, wait, I have his map marker. Duh. That's fine. Um. All right, then let's go talk to Rosie while he's alive. See what she has to say about all this. Hi there. Hello. You're Shauna? Hello. Why do you have a gun out, man? I haven't killed anyone in this timeline. Rosie. Where are you? Oh, are you mad because he left Dave you? Dave says you're okay? Fine. Girl, Dave left. Have you heard that Rosie won? Rosie's going to be the new leader? What will Dave do? He left. Le Girl, he abandoned you. Like... Oh, Oasis is west. That makes more sense. Thank you. Someone said to go north of here, and I was like, there's no map markers north of here. Um, where is she? Hello. Something you need? Uh. Excuse me. You heard Rosie one? Rosie's going to be the new... Okay, you, uh. no one has any opinions on... I was really hoping there'd be more dialogue about, like... Oh, this man who fashions himself as a god king uh, abandoned us. Like, are you talking to me? Yeah, I am, girlfriend. Get over it. Um. Hi there, miss. Hello. I guess I don't talk to Rosie then. All right, you know what? I lose karma for murdering him, right? That's okay, I still have a lot of karma. I'm just gonna take him out. I don't wanna have to stalk him to wherever he's going. I'll just stick with the original plan. 
So where are you, Mr. Man? How far did you get? Ding dong. Oh, I lost karma? That's fine. I'm not terribly up upset about it, if I'm being honest. This guy kind of sucked. Again, he fully abandoned two wives and his children when he didn't get his way. Like, what a little baby. Ooh, briefcase. Ooh, sexy sleepwear. Let me see how sexy is it. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Fancy. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now what? What's this big old compound here? I've been wondering about this earlier. There's like this giant square. What is that? Cause it's like a it's like a different color, kind of like the way DC is. Cause like the DC ruins have their own situation going on. I don't really know what that means. I'm kind of curious. Is it like an apartment block? Probably not. Maybe it's a settlement. Oh, there's people out there. Uh, hmm. You know what would be really funny though, if like. Five streams from now, I get a quest to go to the, uh... Great. Here's some of the local wildlife. Okay. It'd be funny if I get a quest. It's like, hey, you have to go talk to the democracy of, of Rosie for help. And it's like, oh, they all want me dead. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be the case, because... Typically in these games, each town is pretty, um... Isolated from other quests, because then you'd ha If you have... One town that's involved with multiple quests that requires a lot of fail safes, and that can be a huge pain in the butt to write for him and code for. Him. Um, what's making all that noise? Is that the dirt I was walking on? I was right. There are buildings here. What is this place? Oh, but there's also enemies. Oh, this is where that guy was. Okay, so this is the place with the death claws. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave. Oh, what the hell? Oh, hello. What are you, Mirelurk King? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm gonna die out here. That's fine. I have a save. It's cool. I wonder, how far do Death Claws follow you before they retreat? Do they ever give up? I can't tell if they gave up or if their pathing is confused. But, oh, there's a dog. But, okay, so that was, that was the place with the Death Claws. <laughs> Figured that much out. And I lived. Nice. Okay, well, hmm. Let's go back to Underworld. Oh, you know what? While I'm at the Museum of History, I should also do the quest for uh, What's-His-Face. Uh, Carl. That's his name. First, I'll give this key to Crowley, and then I want to go check out... Oh. Sorry, I'm on a break. I'll be back in a bit if you need <laughs> I love how she's still smoking inside, just not inside Underworld. There's something about that that's kind of funny to me. I don't know how to explain it. Um... Where is Crowley again? I got work to do, so if you need something, spit Upstairs, it out. I think, right? Yeah. You smell that. Why not use the keys yourself? I don't know what the keys are for. Oh, did I loot the safe? I didn't. You know what? Before I give him this key, I should do that, huh? Why he even wanting the keys? I don't know. I figured it was like the fingers thing where he just wanted proof That's that they were secret. dead. I don't ask enough questions. <laughs> All right, let's go. 
since we're here, let's grab, um, the Lincoln Memorial picture is in here, right? Oh, let me wear that ghoul head that I got. Oh, wow, that is an impressive mask. Like, honestly? Oh, they might be mad at you for killing Dave. Oh, whoops. Then I just won't loot his safe. That's fine, too. Um. Oh, cool, right. They think I'm a ghoul, so they're not mad at me. Sick. Uh, <laughs> I just need probably, what, like a computer with a picture on it, and then I download that to the Pip-Boy? Something like that? Bathroom. Hey there, buddy. Doing a little squat? Why do you have, like, a prison cell door? to your office. What kind of museum is this? <laughs> Ow. That... What the hell? Oh, why isn't it shooting? Oh, it is shooting. It's just not shooting me. Um... Okay, well, I'm gonna leave that to do its thing, because what I'm looking for is some kind of computer or... Oh, it's all one unit. Oh, I thought those were separate units. Um... Hmm. Hi, pal. Excuse me. Oh, jeez. You scared the pants off me, my guy. Uh, ooh. See what I can get in here. Come on. Ah, beans. Come on. There we go. I'll take all that. Um, I have so many grenades, and I am just not using them enough. Why does a museum have ammunition in it? Ooh, computer. Current control system. Sure. I don't know if this is really going to do anything for me, but like, I don't know. When I see a terminal, I kind of just want to hack it. Is that weird? There's a part of me that is always like, oh, I wonder what secrets it's going to have. And then it's always just like two options. Man, there's like no duds in this one. All right, hold on. Let me, let me redo this. It's been a minute. Um, electric. Two of eight. Tracking? Okay, so it's not an ING. Hmm. Got my allowance replenished. Nice. Are there any other duds? Uh, there we go. Nosy person, excuse me, make way, nosy person coming through. I mean, I can't, I can't deny it. When I play video games, I stick my nose where it don't belong all the time. Uh, secure archives. Open archive doors. System information. Reconfigure targeting parameters. All right, I don't know if that did anything. What, what doors did I just open? Probably that safe. Why is there a gun cabinet in a museum? Ooh, Ab Abe action figure. That would probably help him, right? Hold on, I want that cap. Is that gonna be enough? No, I have to get a picture of the Lincoln Memorial specifically? Okay. From where? Hmm.
Mm. Oh, poster. Is that gonna be good enough? Yeah, let's go. Cool, all right, let me take that to Caleb then. I just gotta get the heck out of here. It makes me anxious whenever you scroll through the computer so fast while missing duds. I don't think I missed any duds that last time. There have there were I don't think there were many actually. Um how do I get out of here? I think this is right. Yeah, yeah, this feels right. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is okay. One of the cool things about the ghoul mask is seeing the ghouls all peaceful. Nakama! Thank you so much for joining my membership! What the heck? That's so freaking sweet! Thank you very much! <laughs> I really appreciate your support! Aw, oh, beans, that's so nice! I hope you- I hope you enjoy it. I- I will do my best to make it worth your time. That reminds me, I gotta- I gotta pick a movie for movie night this month. I'm leaning towards Hocus Pocus because it's spooky time. And that feels like a good spooky time movie. Um, and I haven't watched it in a while, which is kind of a travesty. Thanks for hanging, Zane. Have a good one. Thank you so much for all your help. Uh, what am I looking to do? Yeah, I'm going to put a pause on that because I need to go to Rivet City so I can uh, repair my shotgun. Sometimes the game bugs. Oh wait, I shouldn't be wearing the gold mask. Hold on, I don't want to freak these poor people out. That reminds me. I can wear Button's wig though. With a gold mask, and even if you don't have the mask on, ghouls still won't aggro you. That's not a bad. Oh shoot! Oh god, I forgot. It's nighttime, and you won't let me in at nighttime. I've been enjoying the new Vegas mods. Thank you so much. I feel really bad for the hardcore fans because it after having played through the whole game, I can see why people would be like, oh my god, Clara, what are you doing? <laughs> In my defense, that game has like negative tutorials. <laughs> but I did have a lot yes, of fun playing large. it. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Where's what's his face? Where is everybody? I wanna well, repair my I stuff. Open up. Morning. Hey. Decided to check out the shop, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I need you to repair my shotgun. And... Do that for now, because I don't want to spend all those caps. Oh, wait. No, yeah, he has some caps. Okay. Um, Actually, hold on. Let me... Let me repair what I can before I start selling things. Yeah, there we go. Um. Okay. Hey, now I'm mind. ready. Although you still don't have a lot of money. So I will sell what I can and then I'll just start harking my stuff on everyone else. <laughs> um, what else do I not want? Bum, 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 bum. I really hate this sawed off shotgun. It's such a nightmare to use. Um, do that. And, um, cool. And then, let me, cool. Give me a shot if you need any. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. It's awful compared to the combat shotgun. Mostly, like, truly, one of the reasons I really don't like it is simply because it only has two shots per reload, and the reload is so long. Like, even if it did more damage than the combat shotgun, I still wouldn't use it, you know? It's just, like, it's too clunky. I'll be honest, my issue, biggest issue with how little you enjoy dead money. That's totally fair. Um, like, fr like, I, like, completely understand what you're saying. I think, in retrospect, now that I've played Dead Money, I think I would like it more. Which feels kind of paradoxical, right? Because it's like, 
you can't just enjoy the game, Clara. You can't just enjoy the game the first time, right? But I think I still stand by my opinion that I think Dead Money... The downside of Dead Money is it only works for certain types of builds. And so as somebody who had made made it through like the entire game on a personality speech build, right? It kind of sucked that it was like, oh, hey, um, do you like close combat? No, too bad. <laughs> I can see why people are saying like they like Dead Money way more the second time. <laughs> and such, I'll have no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, is that everything you needed? Can I give anyone this Abe action figure? Where? Oh, whoa. What the hell? Um, where is he? Hannibal, are you here? I want to see if I can give him the Abe action figure because he's like a big Abe fan. That's secure for a reason. Right. Where are you? There. Nope, Make you're still quick. Caleb. I got a lot. I'm looking for Beard Man. Is everything coming together in this game? I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, Bill, who are you? My name is Bill. Bill Seward, if you please, ma'am. What do you do here? A bit of this and a bit of that. Whatever Mr. Hannibal needs. I look after the animals, cook our meals, clean up, things like that. Aw, oh, that's nice. I was hoping I could give someone this little action figure. I don't know why it would otherwise why are we all here Hannibal says you're on our side my name is Alejandra I'm an historian oh cool my dream is to build a shrine to the great Abraham Lincoln do that um yeah I don't know where he is so I guess I'll just come back for him later I just figured maybe he would want it I don't know I don't know if I can do anything with it it might just be an Easter egg but in my mind like Usually, if you're going to have unique items, they'll serve a purpose. So let's keep... I can't fast travel. Why not? I thought I had discovered that. Is there a cutscene that I'm missing? And that's why I can't fast travel. Hold the phone. Did I make a mistake? It feels like there's supposed to be a cutscene happening. Everyone's... Oh, it's just bugged for fast travel. Oh, thank y'all. Isn't Abraham the dude, collector dude in Rivet City? Yes. Abraham Washington uh, took that name... For reasons? Question mark? Um, but that's not who they're talking... They're specifically talking about uh, Lincoln. Yeah, just go far out. I think what I'll do is I'll go discover this point of interest up north. And see what, if any, quests it has. I was afraid that bush was an enemy for a second, and I thought it was moving, and then I realized, nope, that's just me getting closer to an object. <laughs> you can't fast travel from here, so you can't escape when they lock you in. Oh, that kind of makes sense. Like, it's, like, a little clunky and probably frustrating for the average player, but, like, I think mechanically that makes sense. Burnt out diner? Ah, oh, beans. Oh, it's a raider nest. Delightful. Let's maybe have a weapon that's better for close combat. Also, I don't want Button's wig to get damaged. No one home? Sick. I'm gonna take all your stuff, nerd. Ow. Oh god, I thought I heard someone growling. Okay, they got mad because I'm taking their stuff. Don't leave your head undefended, ding dong. All these people running around with like half naked. Ooh, Keller family transcript. What? 
Mom, it's Candace. Oh my God, it's really happening. Oh, gross. Oh, this oh, is sad. It's so big. Mom, I'm so scared. I'm heading to the vault now. I'll do whatever I can to get inside. My number, so the passcode was seven, right? There's a vault near here? Is this like the garage where there's a hidden vault entrance? Hold on, I thought this was just a silly little diner, but now... I'm gonna give it a little second pass real quick. Ow. Gross. No. No weird hidden doors. Well, I should probably take a nap again. My body hurts. <laughs> Did that weird meat cause damage because of the physics engine? Uh... Oh! Raiders all have fingers? Hold! Oh! I thought it was, like, named NPCs. I didn't realize it was, like, just any... Oh, man. Okay. This is yet another one of those unmarked quests. Oh, Beans. So now I have to find a vault. Well, it has to be near here, right? Well, there's something undiscovered this way, so I guess we'll give this a shot. Man, can you imagine someone running into me in the, in the wasteland? And uh, uh, I'm just like... I have, like, around my waist just strings of fingers, like some sort of psycho. And they're like, what on earth is wrong with you? I'm like, no, I'm a good guy. Like, could you imagine? <laughs> if I met someone who had a bunch of fingers in their person, I would be like, you are concerning. You have some maybe unresolved issues. Um, burnt out building. Why do I feel like this is going to be bugs? It feels like a cazador nest all over again. Nope, just raiders. Missed. Missed! Dang it. Back here! Come on, I see you in there. There we go. Where's your buddy? At least one more of you. Oh, there's an eye on the mix. Hello. Where'd you go? Spooked him. Dang it, I missed the shot. Now I gotta go hunt them down. Beady. Where are you? Getting mighty close here, but... A detect life spell sure would be useful right now. Man, I freaking love detect life illusion murder build. Freaking so good. Was that the only dude here? Hold on, maybe I did my people math wrong. Was it just the one? I could have sworn I saw more than one enemy on my map. Chased Acres Dairy Farm. Ah, oh, beans! Don't hurt me. Why are you... Why are you here, mister? We're friends. Oh, are they fighting each other? I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> Well, okay, I'll let you guys keep playing then. Oh, they're... Oh, are you up there? Oh, that's a pretty good sniper nest, my friend. However... Aha! 
Two shots. I did it. This for sure don't look like a vault, though. Play Oblivion? Man, I would love to, but I had issues with it crashing. <laughs> Last time I tried streaming it, it's a nightmare. Eugalism Illustrated. I'm gonna be honest, I never know if it's pronounced pugilism or pugilism. I don't think I've ever heard that word pronounced. Thanks for the finger. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, I don't know. Eugalism? Okay, so it is like a soft sound. I have no idea where this freaking vault is. I was really hoping I could find it, but it's like a needle in a haystack. Maybe if I listen to the note again, it'll have more information. Mom, it's Candace. Oh my god, it's really happening. I can see the cloud. It's so big. Mom, I'm so Oh, there's scared. no vault? I'm heading to the vault now. I'll do whatever I can to get inside. My number of the passcode was seven, right? It's not a vault tech fault. Hold the phone. I thought the whole point of the vault system was it was vault tech. There were competitors. There were non vault tech vaults. Then why is it called vault with a capital V? I mean, dang it. It's dark, I can't see nothing. Oh, it's like a bomb shelter? Oh, well, I really wish she used different language because I was just assuming I was looking for a vault. Ah, oh, beans. I was assuming I was looking for a vault tech vault. Okie dokie. Let's go towards this map marker. I'm gonna just try and start uh, filling out some of the world. Who's e who's the enemy that they're with a mm. There is the enemy. I don't wanna fight a giant scorpion right now. They're a big old pain in my butt. I do think what's been interesting, and again, I, I feel bad comparing and contrasting New Vegas with uh three all the time, but they are very similar games. Um, you know, same universe and same publisher and all that jazz. Something that I think is interesting is how you acquire quests between the games feels really different. Um, and again, it's not like an, a one is better or worse than the other. It's just very different. What the hell? Bro, you coming at me with a walk, a rocket launcher? Oh, it's Talon Company. Ow. Oh, I thought he ran away. All right, hold on. One step at a time. Let's impact. Let's take care of. <gasps> the dog came. Thanks for the help, buddy. I love you. Goodbye. Um. Get some cover. Can I shoot them through the fence? No. How are they shooting me? There we go. I gotta take this guy out before he takes me out. Our headshot's not killing you, my man! What are you made of? <gasps> okay. Uh... It says danger, but no one else is shooting me. Uh... 
Oh, the Mr. Gusty. Ow. Like not. I'm barely landing my shots. God dang it. Aw, oh, beans. The game crashed. Oh man. All right. <laughs> dang it. All right, give me a minute. I gotta, I gotta get it back up and running. <sighs> Come on, Fallout. Don't be a jerk. Beep, beep, beep. Wait, beep, 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 beep. All right, when did I last save? Oh, all right. Uh, did I kill that Mr. Gusty who's been stalking me? Yes. All right, let me take out this big guy. Oh, <gasps> Yagwai, thank you for your help, big boy. I don't know if my shots travel that far. There we go. Thanks, pal. Okay, nice. Um, do I get fingers? Oh, oh man, I'm gonna take all these guys out. Are you kidding? Nice. I don't care if it's only a cap per finger. I'll take it. Nice, 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 nice. Sorry about that uh, uh, connection issue. I don't think it was on my end. It could be a YouTube thing. Um... Can't repair that. Uh, I want to repair my armor. Let's go. You nerds just fed me my ability to stay alive. What is this? Yeah, free combat shotguns too. Hold on. Uh, where are your corpses? Yeah, that's what I want. You didn't have a weapon that I wanted. I took all your stuff anyway. Where is this? What is it with dog rolls and ceiling fingers? Okay, listen, I do not want to come for Korone's thing. That is not my intention. In my defense, this is just a, a thing that the game does. <laughs> fort Bannister? Why is Talon Company at a fort? Hey, at least it's not stealing. Um. Oh, this is Talon's headquarters? Let's go. Let's ruin their life. You guys keep trying to hunt me down. I'm gonna ruin your numbers. Where are you? <gasps> Come back here. I'm gonna shoot you in the butt. Ooh, that's a rocket launcher. Okay, I gotta be a little careful about this. Shooting rubble. I'm out of ammo! Ah! Gotta be joking me! God dang it. Uh... Uh... This is really hard to aim. Okay, um. There we go. I'm gonna take all of your equipment. What level am I? That is an excellent question. I have no dang idea. Uh, 14. What are you even guarding in this tent, you weirdo? Oh, Ow, what the hell? Are you trying to stab me with a knife, my man? 
Get your haircut. All right. Um. Come on. <laughs> Disarming shot, which wasn't intentional, but very cool. Does feel good. Can confirm. Um. I don't think I can repair my armor anymore. Oh, uh, no, I can. Nice. Okay. Um, is there anything else I can steal from you, nerds? Radio. Whiskey. Man, y'all are not terribly... Where's your armory? I want all your stuff. Maybe it's over in here? <gasps> Hello, Daug. Oh, you're a guard dog? Well, that's okay. This seems promising. Oh, do they know I'm here? Yeah. Oh, there's a turret? Oh, all right, let me get my uh, laser gun. No? Oh, I don't have any action points. That's right. All right. Well, you know, maybe I didn't super think this through. Oh, there's a lot of them now. Okay, maybe we come back here later. <laughs> this is why I saved. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'll come back here later. At least I know where it is now. Fort Bannister. Neato. Oh, let's go north. World's the worst dar dog. Nah, it's because all dogs are my friend and they recognize that I am better than their bosses. Simple. All right, now how the heck do I get out of here? Because it's all a big old fence. Where's your door? Huh. Well, that answered that question. <laughs> oh, there are beds in the tents. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not hurt enough. It's fine. The wee little coo is two wee little coos. Actually, here's a question: Do they count as one or two, considering they have two heads? If you name a Brahmin, do you give it two names for each head, or do they only get one name? This is a building under a rock. What is this? Or did the rock fall on top of the building? Gilbert Brothers Waste Disposal? Oh, this is like a huge radiation facility. Okay. Um. Hmm. Why don't we go sell more stuff? I think my inventory is kind of full, right? Eh, I can get away with a little bit more. Let's go north of here, because I haven't explored the north east region god dang it man word gets around fast that i made a joke out all your buddies huh where'd you go all right that guy's in a corner i'm gonna just slowly charge up to you nice uh, thanks for all the fingers. I hope I get a decent amount of caps for this. Don't shoot me! Only I can do that. You're dead. Am I? You're surprisingly resilient. There we go. Another kill me? Really? Why? I haven't done nothing. All I did was attack all of your buddies unprovoked. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um. There's like no marks of interest north of here. 
Weird. Well, I'm going to be stubborn and I'm going to go north anyway just to see what we can find. Oh, wait. Um, there's something to discover southeast. Oh, but I, I don't want to describe that yet. Hmm. It feels like everything's so spread out. Anything? Oh, there we go. There's a point of interest. I knew there'd have to be stuff because there's like a whole map out here. You know what I mean? Hmm. Whoa, what is that? Is that a dude holding an ice cream cone? Well, now I gotta check that place out. Well, there is a lot more empty space than the others, but there's always stuff everywhere. And that's also like, okay, right? Like filling a game takes a lot of freaking work. When you're hand placing every rock and shrub. Oh, this is Paradise Falls. Okay. You like discovering new points of interest? For this game, I'm mostly doing it to try and find quests because it's been kind of hard to get quests. I don't know. I feel like with New Vegas, I tripped and fell into like five of them. You know what I mean? But then with this game, it's kind of like, it feels like I just never find any or they're all hidden. That used to be a way in. How do I get in here? Is that a functional door? I don't think so. Nope. Hmm. I want to go see the ice cream cone man. Here we go. Hold it right there. Nobody's allowed into Paradise Falls except on slaver oh. business. And I get to decide what qualifies as slaver business. They, okay, I was like, Paradise Falls rings a bell, and I don't remember why. This is the place Hannibal was talking about. What's this? Are you kidding me? No. Nope. You've never heard of Paradise Falls? What? Are you right out of the vault? Paradise Falls is home to the slavers. Up there, we sell the slaves that we capture out in the wastes. So, unless you're either buying or selling, piss off. Okay. Yeah, well. You got something else? All of my gun to the preaching. Let's talk about something yeah. else. Or not. Um, I wonder if there'll be a quest. There's probably a quest attached to this place later. Um, let's go clear out the Lincoln Memorial. Why not? I can probably get there from the monument, right? Well, cool. all right, so if I just go west, I'll find it. In New Vegas, the game was full of things and every location was tied into two or more quests. In Fallout 3, there are entire dungeons that have no real reason to exist other than to explore and loot. Yeah, like, I feel like with New Vegas... I feel like at the start of the game, I felt like I had a degree more of... I don't want to phrase it. Direction? Because, like, you wake up in, um, uh, what's it called? You wake up in, uh, Springs and Doc. You basically, you're told, like, Good Springs, thank you. You wake up in Good Springs, you can help the people in Good Springs if you want. And you're also told, like, hey, um, you should head south to this town. You can go to Prim. I do not recommend going on this other road directly to New Vegas. It's very dangerous. Now, to be fair, part of that advice was mechanical because it's like there was like actual leveled locations in that game. But it was also really nice because like it was like, OK, I'll head south to Prim and then you get to Prim and you you sort of get some quests that sort of help give you breadcrumbs. And I feel like with this game, it was like, OK, you can go to Megaton to find your dad. And when you go to Megaton outside of Moira's quest, no, there's two quests in Megaton that take you out. There's Moira's. And then there's a Reifu. So that's not true. You do get some direction early on. That's close enough. What the hell are you doing wandering around here? Oh, Silas. Um, I'm just not looking for trouble. Curiosity can get a Wastelander killed. I'm going to let you through, but you'll have to talk to Mr. Walker first. Follow me. Silas with oh, the brother. Oh, off the memorial steps. They have orders to shoot anyone that gets too close. The dirt path is safe. Okay, thanks, buddy. 
dirt path. This path, I guess? Okay. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I thought I was just going to be fighting a bunch of super mutants, and it's looking like I'm going to have something else entirely. I hope this is the dirt path he was talking about. Other way? Whoops. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I was literally just thinking, I was like, is this, is this right? There's like nothing over here. <laughs> oh, man. That would make sense. Follow the path that he's guarding. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. In my defense, when people are right-handed, they tend to veer to the right first. A um, little bit of game design and, and theory for you. He said to follow him, but he was, like, just sitting in his bunker. Ah. Ow. Sorry to whoever I upset. <laughs> Freaking dark. Past a door. I thought there would just be a dude outside. Oh, there we go. I guess I'm going into the maintenance room. Thanks. Oh man, like it's just like right behind him. Not, okay, in my, I'm sorry. He said follow the path and I thought he meant follow the path like all the way around. Okay, he just meant literally just around the corner. Okay. Get out of here. I thought that looked like a door and then I second guessed myself. Oh look, it's Abraham Lincoln. All right, I'm also hurt. Let me unhurt myself. Why is my vision all weird? I took my thing. Well, I'm Leroy Walker, and you're probably Leroy wondering Withers. about what we're doing here. What are you really doing here? You're a sharp one. We're from Paradise Falls. We're hunting oh. slaves. Have you seen any? Oh, this is... Oh, God, this is even worse than I thought. Oh, man, these poor people wanted to come here to escape. The slavers. Aw, oh, shoot. Okay. Um. I haven't seen any. Mm -mm. That's too bad. Nope. You know, you seem like the type of wastelander that might be for hire. I need someone to get some loot out of a nearby ruin. Are you interested? Oh, uh, I don't want to work with you. But I'm... In okay, well, what's in the ruin? It's a museum. Just past the Washington Monument. I'm only interested in stuff related to Abraham Lincoln. Bring me back whatever you find. Oh, and don't try to go into the memorial. The guards have orders to shoot on sight. Why are you so interested in Lincoln artifacts? Don't want slaves using them to start a revolt or anything. So we burn them. Good luck in the museum. Bring me back something, and I'll let you get a closer look at the memorial. Interesting. Well, do I have news for Hannibal? Um... This isn't really a good place for you to go, buddy. Kill them all? Oh, God. All of them? Okay, this is going to be a rough fight, so I'm going to go sell a bunch of stuff and clear out my inventory. And, um... Then I guess we're going to get into a firefight. Good sell the figure? You. I don't want to. So, yeah, let's clear out my inventory a smidge, create some space for other things... Um, uh, they are pretty separated. Walker will be the easy one to get because he's in a room by himself. The bigger issue is going to be all the guys on the stairs. Um, so I'm thinking what I can do is 
place a bunch of frag mines down and hopefully I can get their AI to walk into them. Um, but that's what I'm currently thinking. All right, cool. Let's go sleep. Well, no. Oh, you can tell them to go to old only. Oh, I misunderstood that. Dang it. Hold on. Thank you for explaining that. I I thought that was... I was worried that was going to do something to the slaves. Hold on. Let's do that instead. Oh, that's way smarter. I'm Leroy Walker. There's a group of them up north near Old Only. They are? Mm-hmm. Now, that's just wrong, isn't it? We're from Paradise Falls, and we've been looking for those runaways. We'll have to go and take care of that little group of rebels. You can come watch if you want. Whether you do or don't, I'm looking to hire a wastelander for a small job. I need someone to bring me some items from a nearby ruin. Are you interested? Okay, so quick question. Will he actually go to... Will he send his people from here to Old Only after this? Or do I have to get him stuff from the ruin first? Because I don't want to give him stuff for him to just destroy it. Yeah, oh, perfect. All right, sure, yeah, where's, uh, maybe later. I'll keep the offer open. One more thing. You gonna go? Beautiful. Are you all gonna go? Oh, thank you for pointing that out. I'm sorry, I misunderstood that dialogue. I thought something else was gonna happen entirely. Um, can we go watch? <laughs> Can we go watch them die and then loot their bodies? Because I would uh, love that. That'd be fun. Oh, but I have to like go all the way up there. That's risky to me too. Let's do it. Let's see if I'll find them there or not. Uh, which way is it? This way. You can go watch Clara Voyerford. It's not... Is that voyeurism? Is watching people fight big monsters voyeuristic? <laughs> Oh, they physically travel there? Oh, uh, okay, then never mind. Um, and let's go to the Temple of the Union. Because I have good news for y'all, right? That's that. Join Leroy in it. Oh, wait, he's coming here? Hold on. No. Wait, I told him about Old Olney. So why do I have a quest thing that says he's going to attack the temple? What did I do? Send them away first? Man, I... I will say the quest progressions in this game are a lot more confusing than in New Vegas. <laughs> like, the the stuff you can do has been really interesting, but, like, getting it to work right feels like a lot of work. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reload this quick save before I've talked to Leroy. I'm going to read up on how to do this quest. And next time, I'm going to try and do this, uh, 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 what's the word? I'm going to try and do this the way I think it's supposed to work next time. Uh, it's more chat. No, it's like the game. I think what's confusing is like this one quest has so many different markers. Um, and like, I'm not understanding how mechanically all those markers are coming up, if that makes sense. 
Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read into this and figure it out for next time. Thank you for joining me today, y'all. Um, this game is is very interesting, and I really like again like I really am excited to keep playing it because seeing how different it is from New Vegas is so interesting to me. I'm sorry if I'm a broken record, but I do mean it. Like genuinely, it's very interesting. Like this game feels a lot more um embedded in like i don't know what genre of sci-fi it would be like new vegas felt very grounded in its science fiction like outside of um the premise of being in a wasteland it didn't feel like there was a lot of sci-fi concepts really coming into play whereas this game there's been an entire quest about like an android and it's very like blade runner and then we have like the freaking like tranquility chamber you know, where it's this like suspended reality space. And I'm not saying it's bad to be clear. I just think it's so interesting how these two different teams have interpreted science fiction as a genre and have gone in like very different directions with it. Um, it's just, it's just really interesting. It's, it's just been so fascinating to see like how different writers work with the same universe. So, um, I'm really glad you gave it a chance. Some people hear it's not as good as New Vegas and move straight to four. Truly, I do regret playing New Vegas first. I see why people say play three first. And in everyone's defense, all of my community was like, you should play three first. I was like, no, but like New Vegas is my brother's favorite. So I'll play that first. I trust his judgment. But I can see why people say like play three first. Partially because four or New Vegas like does not really have tutorials the way that three does. And New Vegas very much feels like, oh, you've already played a Fallout game. And so as someone who had never played a Fallout game, I was very confused all of the time. Um, but I am, like, I wanted to give 3 a shot, right? Because I don't, I can't say if it's quote unquote as good or not. Um, I think it's truly just really different. It's a very different beast. Your stream is a much needed de-stressor after my test this week. That is so sweet. I'm really glad. I feel bad because I mostly was just running around trying to find quests. But <laughs> I really appreciate that. Thank you. I, man... Oh God, Ex exams are, I was gonna say exam season sucks, but just in general, I had such bad test anxiety. I would sit in the library and like rewrite my notes. It was, it was insane. Uh, I mean, it worked, but like <laughs> I would get so much anxiety because I didn't want to perform badly. So like, I understand what you mean. I'm glad that me um, getting jump scared in a dark room uh, <laughs> is a de-stressor. Genuinely, I am happy to hear that. Why play a sequel before the previous game? Yeah, like, well, so here's the thing. In my defense, I had heard that New Vegas wasn't, like, a, it wasn't, like, a true sequel, right? Because you'll have games, like, um, I don't, what's a good example? Um, you have some games or some stories that are true sequels, right? Like, Kingsman as a movie is, that's the first film, and then Kingsman 2 is the sequel, and it, it fully assumes you've seen the first one. And New Vegas is sort of like in the same universe, but very much its own thing. It's a totally different side of the country. Um, it has a very different development philosophy. It has a very different approach to its genre. Um, so I don't know like, if you can call New Vegas a proper sequel. It just kind of came out after the third one. But on the other hand, if it takes place in the same universe and it takes place after the third, is that not a sequel? I'm gonna have to think on that. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> I don't I don't actually know. Will the next game you play in Fallout be the originals? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna play Fallout 1 and 2, and that's not because I don't think they're any good. Um, I understand that they're just very different games. Um, I believe that like it's not open world, it's like a different combat system. Um, it's all it's all its own thing. Um, and I don't know if that type of gameplay is something that interests me. I'm someone who really likes open world games, right? So like, I don't, I genuinely don't know. After I finish this playthrough, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to play after it. I've, it's going to take me a while to get through this game. It's huge. I don't know if I'll take a break from Fallout or do a different Fallout game. I really don't know yet, if I'm being honest. If y'all have ideas about what you want me to play next, let me know. But it's going to be a while. This game is huge. I did that for both New Vegas and KOTOR 2. Yeah, I think I've only... Hold on, I have to look this up now. I think I've only ever played KOTOR 2. Give me a sec. Hold on. I'm going to close the game because that's taken up my screen. 
Uh, I'm so sorry. This is like no longer about <laughs> New Vegas, but I actually just really quick want to double check. Was KOTOR 2 the one I played or was KOTOR 1 the one I played? Um... No, okay, I played KOTOR 1. Um, I, I played it well after it had come out. I had read about it online because I was like looking for a good RPG and a bunch of people on Steam were like, oh, uh, Knights of the Old Republic is a really good game. And it was like super cheap on Steam. Uh, and I loved it so much. I thought it like for an old game, it was a lot of fun to play. But what sucked is I got spoiled when I checked a wiki page. Um, the wiki page like had just like major spoilers everywhere that weren't properly tagged. And I was so upset. It totally like I didn't even finish the game. It like sucked the wind out of my sails. Cause like if you've never played Knights of the Old Republic, I actually do recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Um, it has a really cool story, but it's best if you go in knowing nothing. Like truly don't look into it. Just take this dog's word for it. It's a good game. Uh, and once I found out like everything about it, I was like, man, I just like, I don't, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I was so bummed. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Also, I know that, I know that, uh, Fallout 1 and 2 were pre-Bethesda, um, which is also what makes Fallout 3 in New Vegas so interesting is because 3 was Bethesda's first time producing and developing a game in the Fallout universe. But then New Vegas was like the other team. So I like the whole the whole situation with these two games is like truly so interesting to me. I have like a whole video essay already kicking around in my head. I'll probably never make it because editing that's a nightmare, but um you don't usually you it's it's rare that you'll have a game franchise where different teams are working on it roughly in the same time period and then creating very different games like i don't know if we really see that that often good alternative to follow it after three is mass effect you know i've never played mass effect and i've heard everyone really likes them until the third game and then the ending happened and people didn't like that um and i think they ended up changing it i don't know i just remember that people didn't like the ending <laughs> anyway y'all i'm gonna i'm gonna stop rambling uh because i gotta go uh do some cooking but thank you very much for hanging with me today. I did have a ton of fun. Um, and it was it was interesting to sort of see how quests resolve and 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 find quests to sort of stumble into. Um, so thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I will hang with you all next time. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And thank you again for spending time with me. It, it does mean a lot that you choose to take time out of your day. So have a good one, y'all. Bye for now, Halligans. Bye, bye, bye.